this video, we're going to look at originality reports. Now, it's important to know that originality reports has its restrictions unless you have the enterprise version of education for your domain, for your school. It has its restrictions in that you can only set three originality reports per classroom. And each of the students can only test their assignment or their document or their essay um, three times for each assignment. So that's important to know. And that will become a little bit clearer as we go through this process. What I've done here is I've created a new assignment. So I've got the uh, rubric from the previous exercise. And this time I'm just going to click on originality reports. Now you can see there, as I mentioned earlier, you can enable originality reports on three assignments per class. And if you want to find out more about this, you can click on the learn more link here and that will give you some more information. But it's all to do with the enterprise version. If you have the enterprise version, you can do unlimited amount of originality reports per class. So let's continue. So now the originality report has been set. So let's assign this. And let's now go back to a student view. So here is my student view. And here is my second version of my Macbeth assignment. So let's click on this. And we are going to create our assignment. OK, so that's actually now been assigned. And now we can test our assignment by creating an originality report. So let's go back to our Google Classroom. And then we've got this option here, run run originality report so let's click on run now this is saying that we can do this three times per assignment okay so let's run that up here it's telling me that it is running and you can see it was completed at 11 48 there so now we can click on the originality report remember i'm still a student here so let's click on that and this is telling us our originality report so it's saying that everything has been copied and pasted. Now that makes sense because I've actually copied this from the internet, but it will tell us exactly where the different elements have been copied from. So we can see here, this particular element has been copied from this website here. So let's click on that website and, and it will take us to the place where I actually copied and paste this particular assignment. So let's go back, we can look at another one and we can see the passage that we've written matched against what's on the internet. Now this searches millions and millions of documents all across the internet, including Google Scholar, and it just shows you how powerful this can actually be. So let's go back, let's click on this second one. We can see this first part here has been taken from this particular website here. And that's the website it has been taken from. So this is a really powerful tool for the student and for the teacher. Now, if the particular passages had been cited, you would see here no cited or quoted passages. So what we can do is maybe we can go into the document and cite it. So let's do that now. So what I've done is I put a, a footnote here and you can see the one there. And then there is my citation website at the bottom here. Okay, so let's try and run this again. So let's go back to our version and we're going to run originality report for a second time. So let's click on run. And this is telling us we've done this once and this is our second time that we can run our originality report. So let's run that. Let's click on this link and we can see that it's picked up those citations. So we can click that and then that's going to tell us where those citations are. So we can click on that and it tells us this section here has been cited. So it is going to pick up citations, which again is a very powerful feature. So now what we can do as a student, I can turn it in and hand that in. So that's been handed in. Now let's go back to the teacher view. So here's my teacher view. I can see one handed in here. And let's have a look at that. So let's click on this. And I can see here at the top where it says files, I've got four flagged messages. 
So let's have a look at our originality report. And as a teacher now, I can see exactly what's been copied and pasted from different places on the internet. So that's originality reports within Google Classroom. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button and please subscribe to this channel for more educational technology videos. Until next time, goodbye.